Meghan Markle here. Okay, today is October 11, 2024. It is 7.14 a.m. I'm in the middle of editing, and I decided to hop on Twitter to see what's going on. This is something that popped up on my timeline, and I wanted to listen to it so badly, so I decided to record it and uh, share my thought with you. All right, so there it is here. Let's pause. This moment from at Barack Obama. All right, let's listen. It's almost two minutes. There will be screenshots. And the good news is that you have candidates to vote for in this election that demonstrate that kind of character, who know what real strength looks like, who will set a good example and do the right thing and lead this country better than they found it. So, Pennsylvania, that is the choice in this election. It's not just about policies that are on the ballot. It is about values. <laughs> And it is about character. That's right. So whether this election is making you feel excited or scared or hopeful or frustrated or anything in between, do not just sit back and hope for the best. Get off your couch and vote. That's Put down your phone and vote. Grab your friends and family and vote. Vote for Kamala Harris as the next president of the United States. Vote for Tim Walls as the next vice president of the United States. Vote for Bob Casey. And this whole incredible Pennsylvania Democratic ticket. Help your friends and family members and neighbors and coworkers do the same. Because if enough of us make our voices heard, we will leave no doubt about the election outcome. We'll leave no doubt about who we are and what America stands for. And together we'll keep building a country that's more fair and more equal and more just and more free. That is our task. That is our responsibility. Let's go do it. Thank you, Pittsburgh. Thank you, Pennsylvania. Let's go vote. Okay, I'm not going to put the music. All uh, right, this moment from Barack Obama. Let me read some of the comments. Oh, there's another piece here. Let me pause it. Okay, best president ever. Even he knows the brothers aren't supporting Kamala like they supported him. Well, it's up to them. All right, if they want to go and vote for the other one, they think he has their backs. Hey, by all means. You could laugh all you want, but hey. All right, let's hear this moment from Barack Obama. So there's another one here. Former President Barack Obama has a tough talk at the Black Voters for Harris event in East Liberty. He addressed that black men have not been as enthused about Harris as during his first run, and he sought to encourage them to join Harris' movement. Okay, another minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> All they need to do is go back to some of um, Trump's pass rhetoric regarding black men. Look at what happened. Central Park, where he wanted the, I believe it was five black men um, in Harlem. He wanted them to have the death penalty. And then later on, they found out that uh, I think DNA test was implemented. They find them, you know, it, that there was no match. And I think there was a, a person who later confessed and then um, oh, I think through DNA, they find a match or something like that. Okay, so Trump, whenever there's black and brown people involved, you know, he wants to eliminate them. My God. I think one of those uh, young men is uh, some, I don't know which position he's in, but somewhere in Harlem. He won for office and he won. Okay, so let's listen. It's a minute and 30 seconds. Communities is that... 
had not yet seen the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities as we saw when I was running. Now, I also want to say that that seems to be more pronounced with the brothers. So if you don't mind, just for a second, I'm going to speak to y'all directly and say that when you have a choice that is this clean, mm -hmm. when on the one hand you have somebody who grew up like you, knows you, went to college with you, understands the struggles and pain joy that comes from those experiences. He said to work harder and do more and overcome and achieves the second highest office in the land. Nah, that's Vice President. Damn, I want to hear more. Oh, there's more here. <gasps> oh. I didn't know it was that much. Okay, Oop. let's continue. More of Obama's speech to black voters in Pittsburgh. Okay, so let's just listen. Just making stuff up. You can at least give him a talking to. <laughs> and you sure don't want to put him in charge of anything. So, you know, I, uh, I didn't mean to get so serious. <laughs> but, this is, but, but when I hear about this stuff, I, I, I start feeling like, like we don't have enough of a sense of <laughs> That's right. It, this is, these aren't ordinary times, and these are not ordinary elections. You look at Michelle's not here. <laughs> <laughs> why he doesn't he doesn't want to go back so 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 we know she can do the job and she's got an outstanding uh partner in Tim Walls and, and and so we can take pride and feel good about nominee this isn't just a matter of oh damn it all of them keeps on stopping in the middle of the good part all right so let's go oh that's a screenshot. As a black man, I'm voting for Trump. Okay, by all means, go ahead. She grew up not struggle in, in Canada. Okay, they could make fun all they want, but at least we all had a pivotal moment like President Barack Obama. I said, it's pretty clear, pretty clear, not only for the country as a whole, and then as outside worldview forget how the other country is gonna see us how interact with other countries is he gonna debate and make deals for the best interests of the country as a whole is he gonna support us when he's making deals is he making the deals to benefit us the country as a whole benefit us when he is uh discussing certain issues to benefit the country is he gonna benefit us the country as a whole so people could laugh all they want whatever but my conscience is clear i do my part when i do go vote if guess what things don't come out my way knock on wood it will at least we know we try and then we move forward 
Okay? So women in particular, their life are at stake. Young men, if you're going to plan on being a family man, okay, just hope you don't have any daughters because the things that is being put out there, like President Obama said, it's pretty clear. You either get it or you don't. You have, you have to have a common sense to see what's out there. Even those people who are on his side, they're not even safe with him. Look how he treated Vice President Pence. Because Pence didn't do what he want, he sent his map behind him. So nobody is safe in this type of kind of uh, government that Trump wants to run. Nobody's safe. Only him. All right, so... That's that. I just wanted to listen to this. And uh, let me get back to my uh, editing. That's where I'm at now. All right. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And may God bless the country. great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. for the better.